funding for our schools. I wonder who decides how much referendum money we can raise. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. I wonder how my parents can help. As a superintendent, I've been deeply involved with education issues at the state legislature over many years. During that time, it's been very clear to me that active community leaders can have an impact on future legislation and the thinking of legislators and the governor himself to move forward with uh, important education ventures. Involvement in education funding in particular is very important to local school districts. Much of our funding and the formulas and the amounts that we can even tax ourselves are set by the legislature. In 2002, after a successful referendum, we still faced budget cuts. We knew that we had to do something and CASE was born. We started working with legislators to draft legislation to create sustainable, adequate funding. When we started CASE, we knew that it was very important for us to go to St. Paul, where the action was, and to advocate with legislators on both sides of the aisle. Being nonpartisan was the way for CASE to make a difference for what was really important, the future of Minnetonka's kids. CASE has worked with our legislators to keep education funding a priority, so we can keep quality teachers, we can protect our small class sizes, and CASE has also helped draft legislation to improve student learning through technology for students in Minnetonka and across the state. CASE, which is Minnetonka's Community Action Committee, has really been very effective. They've been nonpartisan, they've addressed the issues in a very firm and clear way, and legislators have paid a lot of attention to them, consider them as a great resource. And in fact, the governor acknowledged the work of this committee when he signed the then current legislation into law in 2005. The most effective lobbyists that we have are individual constituents or citizens or groups made up of individual constituents or citizens. And the most effective of those groups that I've seen at the Capitol has been CASE from the Minnetonka School District. Our legislators want to know what our priorities are and how legislation affects us. They cannot advocate for them if they do not hear from us. CASE is making a difference at the legislature. I remember just last session sitting there about to take a vote and having a note be brought in saying the people from CASE were outside the door. I went out there, I talked to them, and I found out that in the House an amendment had been added to the bill that would really make a positive difference. So I was able to come back in, go to our education chair and say, hey, would you consider adding this amendment? And in that case we did. The people who represent CASE are worried and concerned about all the kids in our state. They work with the other school districts, it's a nonpartisan group, and so we've come to really trust the people in CASE. There are a variety of ways to become involved. Simply signing up to be on CASE's email alert list will help you keep informed. Taking action might be as simple as clicking on a link sent by CASE. An email, a letter, or a phone call can make a difference. I've always enjoyed helping in my children's classrooms, but I know I can make an even bigger impact for all Minnetonka schools by staying connected with what's happening at the state capitol. That's why I got involved in CASE, and you can get involved too. It's as easy as putting your name on the CASE email list. We don't have to do anything but wait for the information to come to us. Thank, Thank you, CASE, for keeping us informed. informed.